Not long ago, we launched the MaxiBright UV LED Supplemental Bar. Outside of our introduction video giving the stats of the fixture, we've not talked in more detail about how it works and how to get the best out of it. So without further ado, let's go in depth with the MaxiBright 60W UVA UVB LED Bar. So as we worked more with the Luminaire, and we spoke to more growers in our shops who had been using the fixture, we realised quite importantly that this isn't an LED you can throw into any growing environment just willy-nilly. It has the ability to really boost your plant's growing potential, but because of the UV light spectrum the LED emits, it is possible to do more harm than good. So we worked with MaxiBright directly to bring you a suggested guide for using the UV LED bar. This guide is rough, and there's definitely room to play with it, but this should apply to most growers. We heard a rumour that you can't have the LED on for more than 15 minutes at a time, otherwise you'll possibly kill off your crop. There is some truth to this rumour, but it's also not as clear cut as the UV LED being on for 15 minutes kills your crop. To understand why this rumour isn't correct, we have to understand why UV light is both good and bad for your plants. To make a simple analogy, UV light can be harmful to plants because it can burn them, almost identically to the way people get sunburn if caught lying on the beach for too long. Now, people use sun cream to cut the amount of UV radiation that reaches the skin and causes sunburn. Here's the thing, plants can essentially produce their own sun cream in the form of essential oils, and it's these essential oils that we want our plant to produce in higher quantities. So by placing the plant under a UV LED, we can force the plant to produce more UV blocking essential oils. However, if you expose a plant to too much UV radiation immediately, then it gets burned too badly and either stunts its growth or dies. A sign that your plants are being exposed to too much UV radiation from your LED is bleaching. You'll see your leaves become damaged and discoloured, which reduces the amount of photosynthesis those leaves can do. This is why some growers have the caution to not expose their plants for more than 15 minutes at a time. But it is possible to climatise your plants into producing more essential oils and withstand longer periods of time under UV light. Starting with 5 minute increments, it's possible to train your plants over time to easily manage 2 hours under the UV LED bar. This is done by the simple introduction of a lighting timer. Most growers will be familiar with these simple bits of kit, and we definitely recommend operating an additional timer for your UV light. Many mechanical options like this one go as low as 15 minute increments, but you can get digital ones that can be set up to work on intervals of just a few seconds. Every other day, increase the amount of time your plants are exposed to UV light, starting as low as your timer will allow. There are no set rules here, so definitely keep an eye on your plants for signs of bleaching and immediately dial back the amount of UV light in your grow space if you notice any. So if you want to use a UV LED bar, it's safest to jump through some hoops to get your grow used to it, but is the faff worth it? What are the specific benefits of adding UV light to your grow room's light spectrum? Well, other than boosting the production of essential oils, which includes flavonoids and terpenes, adding UV increases the photosynthetic rates when supplied in conjunction with PAR light. What does this mean? In layman's terms, that plant can absorb more light, meaning overall growth is boosted, leading to larger plants. Adding UV light also offsets the stretching effect of far red light, meaning any plant is less likely to overstretch themselves when growing. Plus, you have the added bonus of UV radiation, killing off waterborne bacteria and mold spores, reducing the chances of your plants succumbing to ailments such as mildew. Additionally, the UV light deters pests, so it even reduces the chances of infestations by bugs such as aphids and their ilk. So, adding UV light to your grow is one of those all-round benefits. It doesn't have a singular purpose, it's a general growth and health booster that affects a multitude of different aspects of the grow room. But using it well and efficiently takes some patience and extra setup, which is why mostly experienced or larger scale growers opt to take advantage of it. Though with the MaxiBright UV LED bar, any grower can start using the beneficial effects of UV light in their grow space, so long as they take the care to introduce it gradually over the course of the grow. Some people even begin the use of UV LEDs in propagation to help strengthen their cuttings or seedlings. So there you have it. UV can be a great benefit through many different means, but leading to one simple effect. Bigger plants, and by direct correlation, larger yields. As long as you're aware of the potential risks in using UV light, then you should never encounter any downsides. Give this video a like if you found it helpful, 
and subscribe to the channel for more growing content. Plus, check out our first video on the MaxiBright UV LED bar for more information on the fixture itself.